Hey everyone. Uh, so, my recent videos, obviously I've been playing Thaumaturge a lot, or well, pretty much ever. <laughs> I just enjoy it. And I have been playing Arcanist uh, quite a bit re recently. Just to, uh, you know, change it up and just to compare, right, uh, to see what's going on. And I've been very, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, honestly, I think it should, and it makes sense, right, that it seems like, and pure single target, right, it is definitely a, a little bit better and stuff like this, right? So it's, uh, and it kind of makes sense, right, because you're, you're, you're very aggressive. It, there's a little bit of skill, right, a different skill when you're uh, trying to get your dailies off um, between artifact calls, right, and, and still have it up during artifact calls. So it can, <laughs> you can uh, mess things up, um, but, and that's what the risk versus reward, right? And that's why it should obviously be a little bit better when you're highly, uh, very good um, with the Arcanist. So, not much different um, for obviously, we'll go over the gear right first. Uh, not much different between the gear pieces other than the fact that crit severity, right, is so easy on the wizard or on the thaumaturge. Uh, even if you don't go critical burn, you still get that 10%, right, from critical configuration, where this one is a little trickier. Uh, to get and I'll go through it right and you kind of go from there so the crit strike crit severity right uh, the fey wood uh, the fey arms right a lot of the crit severity if you don't have these because they're expensive you can use the mighty van braces the dragon and stuff like that right um, and going from there uh, I run Mastercraft in every everything I do. I don't really care to run anything else and our groups run Mastercraft Raptor so that's what, I, that's what we run so it's nice and easy uh, artifact, Ray of Frost, there's nothing else really that good. Um, it procs um, the Bile Thorn, right? It, uh, or whatever, it's Poison Thorn. And then um, I, it procs your Lightning very quickly, right? Storm Spell, right? And your AP gain is very good with it as well. So um, it's definitely, uh, there's nothing else really that's comparable uh, to it. Um, so, and it's fun to play cause, because it's so smooth, right? Uh, recharge speed, I have accuracy, this can change, right, when you want. Um, I like running the Rusted Iron Leggings because I can swap it for anything, right? Uh, so if I run an MTOS, I just swap to the MTOS boots, right, and stuff like that. There is an issue, I'm running the Dragon Set uh, for combat advantage. If you don't run that, you can make it work, obviously with the combat advantage shirt, uh, but or you can run the boots, right? Um, and stuff like this, uh, and try it out, see which we prefer. I just like the inter like being able to like, okay, I'm running uh, trials, I can run this, <coughs> right? And then I switch to MTOS, I can run that um, and go from there. So the dragon set, right, for the combat advantage. Um, it just, uh, you can run other sets and it's perfectly fine. I tried out uh, Mythalar, uh, tried out Demo, tried out, um, uh, music box. Music box is so it's just it's fun to play music box, right? Because it's it's a cool concept. But I find with my play style, the dragon set is uh, do more damage. But like I said, try try something different out. Compare, test if you can, if you have them, right? Mythlar is free. This one's this one costs money, AD, right? Um, and so does uh, uh, same with uh, uh, what's it called? Um, music box if you buy from the AD store and um, uh, demo set as well. So the rings, the two new ones from uh, MTOS, if you don't have them, right, you can do the dragon ring. It's perfectly fine, right? And then um, other ones, you can, Band of Air is still pretty solid, right, and stuff like this. Uh, what other, the, the counter ring, because um, you haven't got the MTOS yet, right, this one's fine as well, right? This, uh, the range uh, ring, if you, you can get this from, uh, boss right these are all, all decent choices but obviously it is nice to have the new the new rings it um with the, the the percents that it gives and the extra percent right and stuff like that so uh but like i said the dragon rings are perfectly fine if you haven't got there yet and like obviously with the new mod 25 coming out i'll probably be running the beholder ring uh the 10 percent uh, versus beholder in the trial if it's uh it's like pure single target and stuff like that but we'll see right we don't know when it's coming out shirts i really like the dragon shirt just because of the cooldown right you're losing one second cooldown every five seconds to 10 percent chance right and stuff like this because <coughs> what you want right is um the uh, the quick action right i tried stacking ap and stuff like this and it does obviously help to get your uh 
your daily back and stuff like that. But if you can proc quick action, right, uh, seven percent chance, right, on uh, your encounter and daily power of use uh, to do it. So if you can get a quick action, quick action, <laughs> quick action, right, that's going to outweigh any AP gain that you do get, right, from AP gear. Um, and that's what I found, uh, anyways, um, and stuff like that. So uh, this will actually help get your encounters off because uh, faster, right, with the one second cooldown. And that's why I have recharge speed here. Uh, obviously, you can try the AP stacking and stuff like this, right? It does help, right? But like, nothing will beat when quick action goes off <laughs> a couple times, <laughs> and you have your AP back in like 15 seconds, right? So that's why I prefer it. If you are sh if you are going to run the other sets, right, uh, demo or mythlar, you may have to run. Uh, the, the Dragonbone Veil shirt, right? The 5% combat advantage, which is fine, right? It's a great shirt and stuff like this. I just prefer having that cooldown, the one second uh, reduced uh, near encounters um, every five seconds, right? It, it, it uh, gets going. And then the crit strike, right? Uh, and this has AP on it as well. For your... These are these are subject to change, right? This one always changes based on what group you're in. I just have all 1200s right now, but if I if I need to run anything else, right, I can just swap it, right? The only one that matters is this one. That's your set, but these ones swap, right? Um, I just prefer the combat advantage of Mithlar and um, Tentacle Rod. You can just you can run anything, right? Like the demo one. Um, <coughs> Uh, never winter standard and stuff like that, right? It all depends what stats you need, right? And stuff like that. And obviously, this may change with the new mod coming out with some of the new artifacts if they have some better stats that fit my build better, right? So uh, this is subject to change based on the group, but obviously this one stays the same. Stat-wise, uh, dexterity int. I need the dexterity for the crit severity. <laughs> it's hard, right, to get crit severity and um, stuff like this, but obviously. Just because of how, how much damage comps I'm running and, and stuff like that, you can, try, you can try charisma for the recharge speed as well. But I just I need the dexterity, <laughs> and uh, it, that's what I need. And obviously, in for the increased uh, magical damage, right? So um, uh, that's why int obviously right there. Uh, enhancements obviously these are subject to change of what you need, right? Uh, depending on what you are. Uh, what you're running, right? So don't worry too much about this. Obviously, I would prefer to have all amethyst and gr garnets in my uh, defensive slot, but I just don't have enough. I don't have as many, right? And so these ones change based on what you have. Uh, I have the forte. I have the recharge speed, right? Because I find obviously getting the quick action is more beneficial. Like I said, you can run the action point bonus as well, which is perfectly fine. Try it, try it out, right? Test it out to see how you, how, how if uh, if you notice any differences in your play style and stuff like that. Um, Poison Thorn, um, just prefer, just with uh, Ray of Frost, I believe it crits, right? It's the only one that does allow it to crit, so I would say it's better. And then. Devil's Precision always, and then this one changes, right, based on what content I'm running. Demo, I'll put a Demon Slayer in, um, and stuff like that, right, but usually we just default Rage of Flames. Powers, uh, Ray of Frost, I, obviously I can run Magic Missile every once in a while to get the Arcane stacks up, right, but you're pretty much, they're all Arcane, <laughs> right, so uh, you're just going to be, uh, you're just getting your stacks up no matter what, so you only need to do it. Uh, I just don't like it. Just like on the Thaumaturge, I do not like the um, at will canceling. So I run a, I run um, Rare Frost on both, right? The only one time I don't is AoE, and, and um, even Tiamat, uh, sometimes I'll run uh, Chilling Cloud, right? But just because of the, um, the critical burn uh, uh, enchantment and stuff like that. So these are your dailies, right? Obviously, I'll switch an ice knife to this one if I'm doing any AOE stuff, but I really don't run this in AOE just because I just prefer Thaumaturge um, in any AOE setting, like uh, in Tiamat, right, um, as well. But this is kind of like a quick, right? You, you can get off a big account, big daily really fast, but obviously this is the best one. Like, this is the one you want, and this is the one that makes Arcanus so much fun, right, and stuff like this. Popping this up, right, getting your counters off, and then going from there. For your um, class features, Storm Spell, right? This is very good, especially in like MTOS with Cocoon. You can just see it, right? Procking Storm Spell like constantly, doing 120% uh, magnitude damage, right? Uh, and so it just kind of uh, helps helps with the cocoons, right? And stuff like that. And just it just always it's pretty much always going off. You'll if you pay attention to like the numbers, you'll see it, right? The little lightning <laughs> hitting down, which is really cool. 
and then obviously an arcane power field very nice it gets uh it doubles right the arcane uh stacks um and then doubles the damage bonus granted by uh um, arcane master and stuff like this right and obviously if you're close to it 30 feet which is pretty close it's 60 magnitude damage every two seconds right so it's gonna go off like five times during an artifact call so and it definitely they did fix it right from the um, this mod where it does benefit from your stats and all that fun stuff so it definitely helps if you're really close to the boss um, for this one as well um, I guess other ones you can try you get chilling presence but this is just these are the one that's fixed, and it's obviously, it's, and I think it's better, anyways, um, with Arcane Power Field. Class feats, um, spell twisting, right, uh, with the AP gain helps out as well. You can try running Alacrity, but it's just, I don't know, it's it's a different play style. I just don't really care to run it, but you can try it out if you want. Uh, Sailing Forest, right, doubling a 10% chance for the next encounter if you do double its initial damage. So this can literally do a lot right during artifact call if, it, if it's going off like all of a sudden you're like whoa okay all of a sudden how did arcanist do that much damage well this is this kept going off <laughs> and stuff like that right and then snap freeze not the greatest anymore because of um the band of air nerf and stuff like this chaos ma uh, magic right power surge uh rapid recovery uh quick action especially with uh Quick action. Quick action is probably the best one, right? Obviously, quick rapid recovery is nice to get your more encounters off your artifact call, which is awesome. This is random, right? You can't control this. But, like, you gain action points now during um, your daily, right? Uh, this daily. So, uh, if you can get, like, quick action off at the end, right? And so, like this, uh, you're gonna, your daily is going to be coming, 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 right? You, you have to be very aggressive on the Arcanist, right? And so, getting your dailies off on, during artifact calls and then getting at least one off, right? Usually you can't, like, one off in between if you're really aggressive and you get lucky and stuff like this with your quick action procs and stuff like that. Um, you can run office, if you want to run Nightmare Wizardry, I don't need necessary, I guess, like, because usually my groups run, if, it, if, it, if you have issues with combat advantage, like in uh, the last boss, MTOS, will run uh, Black Death Scorpion um, and all that stuff, so it's not really needed. But if you want your like uh, combat advantage for you, right, and stuff like this, uh, um, it's all good, but not really necessary. Where striking advantage, right, is uh, is better. So obviously all your powers, right, grant you 25 chance of doing 120 magnitude, 120 magnitude lightning damage to, to your target, right? Cool down one second. So this is going to help out a lot as well um, for the like, the cocoons and all that fun stuff. And then right, a step above mastery, arcane mastery can can stack 10 times now, right? And uh, grants additional 0.5 damage per stack, right? So uh, and lasts for 10 seconds. So uh, very very nice um, uh, feature as well. It's just fun to play the Arcanist. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun, and I think it's because it's, it's it's different than the Thaumaturge. It's nice to have both of them just to compare. Boons, right? All the all the damage ones. Um, I might switch these up uh, to get some more life, but I really don't care <laughs> as much right now. Like these are all like this one here. I really don't. Uh, I don't use health potions. I can probably switch this out to get some more life, right? If I took all the damage ones and then offensive ones, I have the action point gain and recharge speed. You can run, obviously, if you need the forte for your combat advantage power, it helps out. And then uh, bloodlust. Strong, um, I just run uh, revive sickness. <coughs> oh, round one. Defense, this will switch, right, depending on what you have, uh, your stats-wise, but usually defense out outperforms it, um, if, like how low our, as a, how low our stats or percents are, right, as a, as a DPS. And offense, I have crit severity or crit strike. So this will, this will change, right, based on your gear, to between crit severity, if you have the accuracy one, right, and power, right, depending on what, it all depends on your stats, right, um, and going from there. Companion, I run um, Pseudo Dragon, right, uh, I understand that uh, there's going to be a little bit of um, jumping around next mod with I think they're they're changing up some of the the, the numbers and stuff like that. But I think Pseudo Dragon should be okay. But who knows, right? And stuff like this, I just prefer Striker. Just um, just outweighs it right now, right? Unless they do, do something with Augment at end end game. Um, but obviously Augment is nice to get your stats up. But my ratings are pretty much capped anyways, so there's no point um, in running it. 
Um, these ones are obviously going to change. These are all the MTOT or the new campaign ones, right? These are subject to change. Uh, what you what you're running, right? You can run three accuracy. It doesn't matter, right? Just, just look at your ratings, see what you're missing, pop them in, and then you're good to go. And then uh, obviously these these ones you need the Cobacon gems, and these ones you don't. So if you can't run MTOS yet, right? Then you have to do the two stat ones, which is perfectly fine, uh, and you'd be fine with it. Potent position because crit severity is tough, and I don't run squash suit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's uh, I, this comes off for its crit severity. So this changes, right? You can run acute senses, uh, crit strike one. It all depends, right? What you're missing and going from there. So I run the three damage comps. Uh, I just it just does more damage. I find, right? Uh, if you don't have them, right? You can run different ones, right? Like the black dragon ion stone um, and stuff like this. But I find. Uh, Neverwinter Night is like the higher, more damage you do, right? Uh, you stack, it's kind of, it, it outweighs the stats, right? Because your stats are already pretty much 90% anyways, so, except for accuracy, really. Um, three damage comps, Raptor, that's all we run in our groups, which is fine. Your groups may not it. run Raptor, this will change. And then Alchemist Discipline. Another one you can uh, change that up, right? A golden Cat or... Uh, what's it called, uh, the book imp, right, um, and stuff like this, but just see what you're missing and go from there. I finally got the Golden Warhorse, which is awesome. It's very quick, right, uh, casting this. That's why it's just, it's just nice, right, it's just, you not, you not, there's no delay in casting it, right, uh, like the Toad and stuff like that. It doesn't matter. They all do the same. So just obviously a yeah, Toad or Tunnel Vision um, or uh, Big B's Hand, I guess, if you really want to do that one. But that one's a long animation too. Um, just Tunnel Vision <laughs> and Veracity, right? It's because my ratings are already pretty much capped anyways. I really don't need anything else. But you can change, like this may change, right? Because my groups run Mystic Aura and Runic Aura. Uh, both of them stack up. So you can, you can see what you're missing, right? You can run the Accuracy one. Um, whatever, it doesn't matter, right? It's just, it's all based off of your build and you're going from there. And then Assassin, Assassin, Artificious Persuasion, Gladiator's Guile, and Warlords. Obviously this one can change, right? Depending on what you need. Another uh, Assassin, right? Uh, and another Warlords. It seems like they're, they're fixing Warlords in the next mod, right? So I may run that another one as well. So this is, uh, but this is what I run. The most important one, right, is you get the 1%, 1.5% extra stats from this, and Artificious Persuasion, right, after you cast your Artifact Call. Uh, artifact, right? You can get two seconds off your uh, counters, which helps a lot because because how aggressive uh, things are. So that kind of covers the build. I kind of just go over how I do it. Like, say if I like, I'm go like stat wise, right? Um, I run my stats. Oh, I cast an artifact by accident. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so uh, flask of potency, uh, watermelon sorbet, just be. Um, I just change everything to Watermelon Sorbet. It just makes life easier and cheaper. And you make AD, a lot of AD selling squash soup. <laughs> but obviously you can run squash soup as well. Uh, this one, I'm just using these up. Don't worry about this one. This one, the Winter Festival. I run uh, Sear Tuna. This can change, right? The Guild Food. Uh, the guild Food's OP now. Um, so it uh, depends on your stats, right? And stuff like that. And I run uh, Sun Lords, right? All this stuff is subject to change based on what you're missing. And you're going from there, right? So if we're looking, this is <coughs> this is capped, right? This will be uh, one percent off of cap uh, for the rating because of Runic Aura, right? I'll get uh, what twenty-two fifty, and then I'll my Sun Lords another two thousand. So uh, pretty pretty close to capped as well. Um, this one here, right? So I'm at seventy-two plus Sun Lords plus two deer, right? I'm at eighty-two, right? Plus this ninety, pretty much, right? So that's fine. Um, this one here, right, 46.3 plus the tuna, right? So we're looking at an extra almost 4%, so I found 70, 80%, right, 87 and a half. Um, once the new mod comes out, right, I'll get the new lightning enchantment. It gives 7.5% crit strike and accuracy, so I'll probably switch out my helmet. Or I'll, because <coughs> um, I need the crits already from this, right, so I can't really switch this up. So I can probably switch this out uh, to something else, probably one of the new helmets. i got to double-check things uh, and going from there. Um, we'll see, right? Or maybe an Underdark, uh, this helmet here. 
um, we, uh, depending on what, what, the, what the stats are, right? So, but the new lightning enchantment looks like it's going to be uh, much better than Bile th or Poison Thorn, but it was subject to testing, right, and stuff like this. But getting like 15% stats from a, uh, from a, from this, right, with uh, was it accuracy crit strike is pretty OP, and it does damage, right, and stuff like that. So I'm excited for that one um, a lot uh, going from there. And then this one, right, I'm at 69, plus the Fosca potency is 74, right, plus the chest piece, and then this, I'm at uh, pretty much 90, right, 89. So, so that's why, so everything's pretty much at 90%, except accuracy, right, what is that, what, 55-ish? Uh, percent good enough <laughs> obviously if you want to stack that because you can and then i'm running all the damage stuff right like ferocity the three damage comps right um but if you have to sacrifice something sacrifice the neverwinter night uh for percents until you can get it to work and going from there all right so like when i'm <coughs> When I'm going in, right, to any boss uh, endgame trial, right, and stuff like this, I'm very aggressive because I know uh, with my daily, right, and stuff like that, it's going to proc out. So I'll come in, right, I'll go in, I'll usually use all my encounters, and then artifact call daily, right, and then just start spamming stuff. And you're going from there, right? So you really want... Like for the encounters, right? You want to use your R1, right? Because that's going to increase your damage. If you like, if you can get your R1 going, right? This duration's five seconds. It's pretty much going to be up all the time, right? During artifact call because of your uh, daily, right? But outside artifact calls, if you're wait, don't wait like like several seconds, right? To to hit this before you can hit a uh, disintegrate and other ones, right? But if it's like a a, a second, right? I'll kind of. I'll wait, a, I'll wait that second, hit this, right, and hit them as, as we're going, right, uh, to get, uh, get to get that extra 20% damage uh, uh, increase, okay? Um, but don't don't be don't be too patient, right? You're gonna lose out on a lot of damage if you're waiting for this. This one this one's subject to change, right? If you want to uh, help the group out, you have a lot of ranged, right? Uh, you can run ray of enfieldment. Um, it just it's just this one's just subject. Uh, you're not gonna cast it as much. Right, with the cooldown five seconds longer. But that's the only difference, right, between uh, if you want to switch things up is Arcane Conduit, right, for more uh, U damage, right, um, or uh, Ray of Enfieldment, right, for more group damage um, during an artifact, uh, during, if you have a lot more, um, right, magical and projectile damage uh, going from there. So that's, so that's the build. Um, that's kind of like what the count, the my uh, rotation is when I go into like demo or anywhere, right? I just kind of I throw everything, uh, out, I get my um, uh, get my stacks up and stuff like this, right? Artifact, uh, daily, right? Spam, spam, spam. Toad in there, right? I'll run, I'll, I'll throw Toad later on because I want my like the demo stacks, right, to stack up um, and stuff like that. But the encounters you're always going and you have to be aggressive, right, um, with it for more damage and to keep this stack, right? Keep this stack going. So you're always using your counters. And the cooldowns are so short, especially with the shirt, right? Like, they're gonna, like, 9.3 seconds, right? This one's the most damage, this is 6.8. Uh, and obviously, if you get quick recovery, right, rapid recovery, and then the shirt procs, right, this is coming up every, like, three seconds. <laughs> three, four seconds, right? So <laughs> it's, uh, it's, disintegrates the most encounter damage out of all of them right and it looks it looks very cool as you're doing it so try it out like like see how you, what you think about the arcanist if you want to if you want to um still in combat uh for some reason but there we go um uh, see what you compare it to thaumaturge thaumaturge is nice because it's just it's easier to do a lot of damage right but obviously at the if you've um Arcanus versus Thaumaturge, it, it appears, right? Uh, it should, Arcanus should win out um, if the base, like, same skill level and stuff like that, right? But if it's, um, but Thaumaturge obviously is, is nice, is, it's all, I played it for so long. Uh, I love it, but it's nice to switch it up. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>